So what is up guys, it's Treason C here, your favorite Minecraft YouTuber. Oh gosh, and now in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you guys top 5 secret things that you can make. Now in this series, I try to show you guys the top 5 secret things that you can make in Minecraft Console Edition that you didn't really know about. These are going to be things that are kind of cool that you can put in your house, put in there somewhere in your world, that are just going to make your Minecraft friends say wow. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. If you guys do want to join my notification squad shout out, don't forget to subscribe and keep notifications okay, turned guys. on. So as you guys can see, this is going to be the first design. Now the first thing you can make, guys, I think I might do six because some of these ones are pretty easy. So as you guys can see, the first one that we have here is a, it's just, I guess you can say a kitchen, but this is kind of like a boring kitchen. I just wanted to show you guys the basic kitchen before I spice it up a little bit. So this is the basic kitchen that most people like, or I guess you could say a countertop that most people kind of want to build. But I want to show you guys a way to spice it up just a little bit. So as you guys can see, very basic, very standard, but let me show you guys how you can spice it up. So let's look at this side and let's put down the same block. So of course, you know, you want to have your countertop, which most people would actually use a block of quartz now me personally i don't know i like the white concrete better because it's a little bit smooth as you guys can see you can even see the lines between the blocks i don't know i like one smooth countertop so then what you want to do as well is you want to get where is it where is it where is it where is it um i really should have had my inventory um open before because this just take a while but Basically, what you need to do is you need to get yourself an item frame, like we go, and then you need to get yourself a sign, there you go, and then you need to get yourself a banner as well, which is also in decoration. So then we're just going to put this banner down, there we go, and as you guys can see, so this is our like really, really de detailed kitchen, so as you guys can see, well, it's not detailed yet, but it will be detailed in a second, so. This is what we're starting with right now. So in order to add some designs to this, we're going to add some item frames. And then we're just going to leave one block there for like this thing. And I'll, and I'll show you guys how to make that a lot more detailed. Then I'm going to add some item frames like that. Then what we want to do is put some side. No, nope, no, nope, no. Wait, what? 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 Am I? Well, hold on a minute, guys. Hold on a minute. This, this, is, this isn't how it's supposed to work. It's supposed to like pop out. What is it the one that, that actually um, pops out? Hold on, guys. Hold on a minute, guys. Hold on a minute. I think I think it's that one. Is it that one? I think it's yeah, yeah, yeah. As you guys can see, it's that one. So you put a slab there, guys. And as you guys can see, when you um spin the slab to the top, you gotta make sure you spin the slab to the top. Because if you don't spin the slab to the top, it's not gonna work. So spin the slab all the way to the top. Spin the slab all the way to the top. Or guys, I do think you could also use if you want, guys. Um you could also use I think you could use a dropper wooden pressure plate, could you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could use a wooden pressure plate also. And the reason why you could use a wooden pressure plate as well is because if you spin it, guys, like that, and then you place a banner. Oh, no, 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 no. If you spin it like that, guy. Oh, gosh, I can't spin it properly. There we go. If you spin it like that and then you place down your white banner, as you guys can see. Oh, my gosh, guys. Place it down, like, right next to the edge because um, I'm, I'm, I don't know how to do it. But, you, okay, you place it on the actual thing like that. There you go. And as you guys can see. It looks like, it kind of looks like, you know, cupboards. It actually kind of looks like cupboards. So, it's like a secret sort of cupboard, as you guys can see. So, because it goes through it just there. But if you want, as you guys can see, you can... Um you can change it like this one as you guys can see and this one looks kind of looks like drawers because it's a bit bigger and it kind of stands out as you guys can see it looks like drawers and i think i think it's a really cool design and we are not done here guys so this is basically the secret drawer design guys as you guys can see it kind of looks really cool um the way how it goes into the ground and the way how it just i don't know guys it kind of looks really nice and then yeah of course you can have this cauldron right here and then of course you can have like i guess i don't i don't think you can and you can add an item frame oh gosh you can add that from there so yeah and then you can have another wood slab there um and in whatever way you want to have it and then just place like another um just crouch make sure you're crouching and then place of course once again another um whatever you call these another banner guys and yeah and you can also place a different color one as well to show that this one is actually the cauldron so yeah this one is this this design is really really cool guys i really i really do like this one it's like a secret little um cupboard design uh yeah i don't know i feel like it's really really cool you can mix and match of it as well because if you spin it so so like, it looks like two handles so i'll show you guys if you spin it like that so it kind of does look like two handles now let me see if i can grab this white banner there we go um place one there pl oh gosh place on there place on this one as you guys can see kind of looks like two handles now but yeah i don't know i feel i feel like this one looks a bit better way how it looks it just looks a bit better i don't know i don't know about you guys but that's just what i think but yeah it's a secret secret sort of thing for your for your kitchens like it's just a 
secret way to make cupboards i don't know like this way looks standard and boring but this way looks much much cooler so make sure you guys have have a have a set on one pan because you know you don't want to have two different pans there but yeah that's um i guess you could say your first secret kitchen countertop it's a really really nice idea really nice thing to do now the next one now this one doesn't look as nice but if you did have this in a kitchen where of course you have all the designs and all the stuff going on um, i'm just going to add that stuff there just for the design reasons and of course um i do want to say for your previous kitchen countertop thing whatever you want to call it um you do want to also have um you know like some carpet on top just so it looks even more like a kitchen like i'll show you guys um yeah just just make sure you add some um wool on top because as you guys can see it looks even more nice so this one here basically guys if you didn't know it's pretty much a working fridge and it's really simple as well so as you guys can see as you open this and you close it yeah you just you just get the food guys it's really really simple now there's different ways you can go about doing this because of course um it doesn't look like it's exactly working but i think you guys should definitely use a button because when you use a button in fact can you use a button i don't even think you can use a button for this one but yeah have a lever guys um there we go um and pretty much in fact let me just show you how guys how to build it because i don't know why i'm talking about this one i'm not showing you guys how to build it so all you need is a dropper before it used to be called a dispenser i'm pretty sure is it is it a dispenser in the game anymore um no in fact yeah it is a dispenser that's what i mean you need a dispenser guys then you need an iron door in front then you need to place another block on top of that iron on top of the dispenser i don't know why i placed a dropper there then whatever food you want you want to place it inside the the dispenser then with your lever um where we go where we go where's our lever then with our lever you want to make sure like you can put it on the side you can put it on um the left you can put it on the right whatever you want to do and then of course as you guys can see if you have a kitchen like this one of course what you can do is you can just open oh no open oh gosh open and then close the fridge and then of course you know you can get your food out whatever i don't know it's a really simple simple cool design that you just open and close the fridge and then a piece of food pops out i don't know it's a functional working fridge in minecraft i don't know it's really simple to build really really nice and yeah you can just i guess if you want to add more design to it we can do like i said before you can add some um add some carpet on top and i know there's probably a hundred different ways that you can make this a, a, a ton better like you could probably add some cool redstone stuff and all that kind of jizz but um yeah i don't know guys it's just a really simple way to make a working fridge if you guys want you know you want food straight away you just pull the lever and boom you get you get your chicken and you know you just it's just really cool so um yeah i definitely feel like it's a really nice idea and why can't i place this lever down like is this is this lever right um oh yeah because there's carpet in a way but yeah like i said guys it's really up to you i don't know i feel like it's a cool design if you wanted to keep it more compact you could just and now it wouldn't look as good to be honest guys it wouldn't look as good but if you wanted to keep it more compact you could just have something like this you could just oh in fact you could just crouch and then place it on it and then of course um have a lever like that and then of course it, it wouldn't look as nice so that's the thing guys or you could have like i guess a food dispenser in your kitchen um just having a button there and then when you come in boom you just press it and yeah i don't know it, it looks a little bit better than some entire fridge with a i guess you could say a huge lever standing on top of it because of course it looks kind of weird so how do i i don't think i can place carpet on it after i place button but yeah as you guys can see you guys you guys get the gist of the idea um dispenser fridge a food dispenser in the um in the kitchen as you guys can see it, it looks brilliant so on to the next one now the next one is a really cool one because this one is a really nice chair now this one is so simple guys so easy that you guys are gonna be like wow i can't even believe you you're making a tutorial it's so easy so yeah it looks like an awesome awesome um i guess you could say it looks like an awesome awesome you know uh, what do you call it a sofa it looks like a huge huge sofa chair that's just really really awesome i don't know about you guys but the, but, it, but it looks really cool but as you guys can see what we need to do for this one is to place two stairs opposite each other like that then two blocks behind it like that then one left then one right and then boom you've got your chair it's like a really cool chair it's like a it's like a huge huge um high chair just made out of stairs just just a bigger bigger chair as you guys can see i don't know it's really cool really nice i really like the idea um it definitely 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 adds some design to the world and i don't know it's, it's really cool but the only bad thing about this chair is that it only looks good in court stairs or in, in any other stairs it just isn't gonna look as good so on to the next design so we've done three designs so far so on to the next fourth design now this is gonna be i guess you could say a revamped sort of idea for the um for the sunbed or whatever you want to call it sunbed sunbread um 
sun sunbed a sun, um, sun umbrella guys so basically for a beach if you guys want a beach sort of design this is one is gonna you know it's gonna be really cool so um on the sunny days on a beach um this one is gonna be really really nice so we got this there we got that there there we go so you're gonna need an iron trap door you're also gonna need a wooden trap door you're gonna need a quartz slab you're also gonna need some end rods so first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you know where your sun umbrella is going oh yeah you also need guys i nearly forgot i nearly nearly forgot uh, let me just make sure i'm recording 100 percent. okay we, we're recording okay we're good we're good we're good okay so what you need also is you need some white carpet because of course white carpet is awesome and then we need some spruce wood slabs because of course spruce wood slabs are the one and then there we go there we go that's all our materials so in order to do this what we need to do is firstly we need to build on our left we need to build two quartz slabs then we need to leave one block and then on our right we need to build two more quartz slabs so then behind this one we're going to place up the the, the yeah, we're going to place up the wooden trap door then to the right what we're going to do is as you guys can see we're going to place it right there but then we're going to go underneath the block and then what we need to do is we need to get a redstone torch i think it's either a redstone torch or a redstone lever and you guys can see oh gosh i need to place it properly because as you guys can see we can place a redstone lever under it now it actually looks like it's up and a part of it so as you guys can see we just need to do that for the other side as well and let's go over here and place the iron trap door then we go underneath place a redstone torch and you can either place a lever as well and then just make sure you turn the lever on and then you go as you guys can see and then now what we need to do is we need to add two end rods like this there we go and another one like this oh gosh there we go it's kind of hard to place but yeah and then we need another spruce wood slab there we go and then we need some more white carpet and then for the white carpet of course we're going to need some string so i would say go into decorations but it's not in decorations it's in materials go into materials get your gross blocks and then um yeah just build up the string oh gosh don't do that just build up the string and then there we go there we go there we go i think i'm gonna have to crouch to place it on this block it's gonna be kind of weird but yeah you have to crouch to place it on the trap doors because if you don't it's gonna kind of glitch out so you gotta be careful with that so i think i can place can i place a cup around yet nope you just gotta keep building up the string guys until um keep building up the string until until it starts to to sort of form this weird invisible barrier it's kind of hard to, to see at first but you will see the string eventually so you just gotta build it like twice or you gotta build like twice or three times guys i don't know it's kind of hard to explain but as you guys can see that's pretty much how it works so as you guys can see it's like the, the outline if you're watching it hd you'll see but yeah you just gotta keep going all the way around until and place enough string until when you place down your carpet that it lines up with this as you guys can see i'm gonna place it oh, it lines up it lines up lines up lines up and as you guys can see it doesn't line up so i need to go here um crouch place the string down twice and then place the white carpet on top and as you guys can see now i've got this awesome 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 little design little design going on right there i don't know i feel like that design is really really awesome as well and you can even if you want this is just a, just just a little um just a little idea i think if you even want i think i saw someone add a flower pot somewhere did they add a flower pot like but add a flower pot. They add a flower pot. Um, okay, I, I don't. Okay, I don't think I can add a flower pot anymore, because um, without without destroying the whole part of the structure. So yeah. So let's just let's just leave it like that, guys. As you guys can see, a really nice sunbed, a different a different kind of style, a different kind of style. But yeah, I, I definitely think it's cool. But someone did add a flower pot. Um, and I know it's gonna destroy part of this, but they're gonna they added a flower pot like here. Um, and I don't know, it it just looked really cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it. As you guys can see. Um, yeah, really, really nice idea with a little, little, little flower back there. I know it looks really cool, guys. And yeah, that's the four designs. But we're not done yet because we have a fifth one, guys. We have a fifth and final one. So for the fifth and final one, guys, we have is we we have we have is okay. I'm gonna show you guys right now and stop messing with the time. So second one that we have here is a really easy one. Now this one, I don't know why I'm building an entire area for this. I'm just gonna build this one right here. So this one is basically a different kind of toilet design so this one is basically an awesome secret toilet because you can make this one work if you want to but i don't know all the redstone stuff so i don't know how to do that so we're not going to be doing that in today's video but so some of you geniuses out there are probably going to you know figure out a way to do that so what you need to do is create some stairs going this way then some stairs going that way so it's like it's like doing a sort of weird i don't know how to do it so basically stairs going to the front like that then you want to do stairs upside down on the back then on the first block that you ever placed you want to place some cyan terracotta or um as normal people call it just gray concrete so it's pretty much the same block as you guys can see 
and then what we need to do is once again we need to get ourselves some iron trap doors there we go and you just need to place them on top like that and then place them on the top like that so you guys can see it looks like a modern toilet guys it genuinely looks like a modern toilet now the reason i said you could probably make this work is because if you if you place like a redstone block like right near it it should go up like when you flush if you guys know what i mean but like i said i don't know how to do all that stuff because um i don't know as you guys can see when it goes up uh yeah as you guys can i can i place a uh i'm thinking can i place a redstone block underneath yeah it doesn't work but yeah as you guys can see if you guys know how to use redstone and stuff so that when you place it like when you flush the toilet or whatnot um it goes up that'd be absolutely insane as you guys can see but yeah i don't know it's a cool design it's a really awesome secret toilet that you can make and yeah see it, it doesn't work because there's a second block up there maybe what you could do instead of two iron trap doors is you could also just instead add some carpet up top here and of course your toilet when you come to sit on the toilet when you want to flush it you just press the button and then um boom as you guys can see when you want to flush it boom working toilet amazing incredible 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 stuff so guys if you did enjoy this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and until the next time it's been your favorite minecraft juju but and of course of course guys leave comments send me messages because you guys are absolutely amazing and until next time it's gonna be peace